As uh, no wait, backspace one. As uh, no, I misspelled it again. Eh. As Asaguri. I'll enter. And Greg Pastor try again. This isn't what I was looking for. There must be a clue somewhere. So first idea was not it. Idea number two. This is an even weirder idea, but let's see find out. File. A while ago. Where is it? Yoshi gave me a card with a number on it. That's not the right one. It's Sadeo's. He gave me a number which didn't have the usual area code. And I haven't been able to use it for anything, so maybe this is it? Or maybe it's for some secret somewhere else in the game. But I'm willing to take a bet and see if this leads to anything. Alright, let's see. Because Hideo was keep on trying, it was trying to tell me this number for some reason, so maybe it's something important. No, erase there. 993. I move, no, I cannot move with this, so. 993. 7. No, not E. 7. 5, 4. Alright, 7, 5, 4. Then 862. 862. Oh, no, 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 that was delete, right? That was it! <laughs> I can't believe that was actually it. I kind of thought that was going to be Ron. Well, hey, I guess I'm smarter than I think sometimes. Anyways, I'm too deep in my research for the black page. I ended up inside the Minimum Abyss myself, but I cannot give up. I'm still scouring for clues, as if I'm preparing to write another article. An article that nobody will read. I can't help myself, though. I want to organize my data before I perish. If somebody reads these notes and pages to escape from here, that would make everything worthwhile. A salon worker, a hotel employee, an internet cafe customer, three high school girls, and a doll maker. The only connection between them is that they all saw the, pay the black page. Thus, I must conclude that the black page is what brings people here. With regard to the multiple deaths at the Karamayor Hospital five years ago, it seems that all the victims were somehow connected to Rayako Asagari. Most of the victims were people quite familiar with her. It's also interesting that this continued even after her death. Her suicide was most likely the event that started it all. Locations within the Manoic Abyss seem to be composed from the memories of the people trapped within. I confirm that the new locations emerged after my arrival. When you first arrive, you are somewhat alive. Your memories are intact and your body is real in reality is probably in a commozo state. As you come in contact with a ghost, you slowly become a ghost yourself. When the transformation is complete, you most likely die in real life. If I could find a way to get out of the Monoc Abyss while my body is still alive, I would probably be able to return to the real world. However, I've yet to find any such method. Now let's talk about Rayako Asagari again. This is all conjecture from here. According to the nurse's diary, Rayako committed suicide when she lost her will to live. Anger at her mother and her chatroom friends were abandoned in her, spurred on the black page. Seems to be a manifestation of her rage and loneliness. One can almost sense her anger and fear of being betrayed. This is probably what led to the initial incident at the hospital. The expansion of the Amunarch Abyss could represent the little girl's desire to escape the hospital at any cost. So how are we to combat this? I don't have the answer to that. However, I did find a short memo. When I transport to Yuko Sagari's room, it was her daughter's phone number. Ghosts will communicate with you through the phone. Perhaps you can communicate with them in the same way. Perhaps you can persuade them. That's the only thing I could come up with in the time that I have left in the phone number. Wait, this is Ryoko Sagari's cell phone number. The cell phone, of course, that she called a lot. All right. Makoto, you're finally... Oh, this is him talking. Uh, it's like when you look at the screen, you can see it's all in Japanese, and then the game obviously was translated for us. Hmm? Amano! Kitekuretto, Shinjitayo. Amano, 
ってほしかったただそれだけだどういうことだ記者や編集者に物事を変えたり解決したりする力はないああそんな話は何度もお前としたよなでも多くの人に記事によって伝えることがそのきっかけになるお前の心情だろ<笑>心情というか佐賀だな記者の佐賀だ白井に読んでもらえて嬉しかったよしかしもうどうすることもできないのか教会の拡大や朝霧を止める手立てはないのかないいやもしかしたらあるのかもしれないでもそんなこともうどうでもいいじゃないか天野I understand why that phone call was super important. Oh, he's a ghost now. We can see his ghost.、But、the reason why. Uh. He oh, he dropped something. What? The reason why that phone call was super important was because. Um. In the, in the normal ending, the bad ending, she tries calling out and telling the ghost girl everything, but she seems like she's ignoring her and jumps out the window, and then we fall out the window, and then we die. 
But I'm guessing that because we weren't trying to talk to her through a phone, we were just talking to her, the ghost of her. But we need to call her with her phone number. I get it. No, Makoto 2? There he goes, but I noticed him drop the number, obviously. So, uh, yep, I knew it! Reiko Saguri, it's her phone number. I'm not surprised, because he just got her phone number. I was thinking he had her phone number, and I have it written down, so, yeah. I... Just to make sure I have her phone number written down, though. Reiko... 600-184. I see. I, th I think I have a good idea of where the game is going right now, so, yeah. I... What? Is this Reiko Anagiri's? So that's why Makoto... Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Before I go there, can I go exploring here first? This is a new chapter. Maybe I should have gone exploring st stuff on the second floor. I don't know. It probably is nothing even here, but since he's like waiting for me, it makes me want to sort of look around first. But then again, this is just the same hospital. I guess there's not much here. Is this the one of the safe files where there's the cat at the very end? No, there's no cat. This is the second floor. Well, I guess I was on the third floor. You know what? Sure. Sir, I'll follow you to the first floor. There's a sad cat to save on the first floor, though. So let's follow him over to the first floor. I might be missing some secret, but who cares really too much there. Let's follow him down here. Sir? No, the phone thing's not working. She is over there. I was gonna actually try looking in here. There's nothing, but there is something here. <laughs> so that made me surprised more than it should have. Is there anything out here? The door is shut tight. Wait, I know what this scene is that I'd like to have saved. This is the scene where we're supposed to start following her. あなたが黒猫さんだったのね。聞いてくれる私、約束を破ったわけじゃないの。あの日、ここへ向かっていたのよ。本当に。でも。途中で交通事故にあってそしてここに運び込まれて偶然だけど隣のベッドにいたんだよもし私が目を覚ますのがもう少し早ければ
ない言い訳だよね約束守れなかったのは事実だからごめんなさいごめんなさいって今さらだよねもう取り返しつかないよね私がここの住人になるのも時間の問題だと思うのそうなったら黒猫さんと一緒にいるよ私ならもう寂しくないよねつらかったことも。それで忘れられる Alright, I think we're at the very end of this. Oh, Jesus looks different. Yeah, this area looks incredibly different from what we experienced originally. Why would we just leave our cell phone behind? Alright, it's kind of like what we just did in the final area, but now we have to follow her more precisely. Up the stairs I go! Jeez, that was way too close. Alright, so we have to stay far enough so she doesn't teleport ahead, but not too far that, yeah. Let's go up the stairs, and we're trying to get to the final apartment room that we're probably getting right to the end of this game. I wonder if there's anything more once we get to her room this time, though. Stay this perfect distance for a while and we should be okay. Oh no. Right here. And let's go inside and probably time for the ending, that or the final gameplay scenario. Because this was the end of the game originally, except the hallway looks a lot different. Well, the credits are very different. I'm going to assume there'll be a scene after the credits are done over, though.
That or they're all just gonna both fall and die. Let's see how it rolls out. Because last time we just phased right through here. And also they're uh, doing the crying thing, so let's see what happens. Because the credits aren't very long, so it was a small staff game. But yeah, yeah. Let's see how it plays out. I liked it though. It really did remind me of Nanashi no Game. I think I might have preferred Nanashi no Game slightly to it, but there are things about it I definitely liked and things that I found enjoyable. I think there were some weaker areas. I did not enjoy going to the hospital again. I think the hospital ended up being my least favorite location in the whole entire game, but and you spent like half the game there. However, I still liked it though. I found it to be enjoyable regardless though. There were a few scares that got me. But I didn't really think it overall was a very scary game by my taste. I thought the story was interesting. I understand it's one of those twists on something a little bit more modern, this one being the internet. <laughs> uh, this was actually one of the last games made by Hudson Soft. It was interesting regardless though. I think the character models did look a lot better than well, some of the environmental stuff. There were some scenes in the game which I thought were very fun to explore. The music, though somewhat minimalistic in areas, was nice. Now, I'm predicting the credits are going to end soon, because I recall the credits weren't very long at all, so let's see what happens, if anything. version of the credits that are crediting the side things like the head of Europe business I guess. There was also a number of unlockables on the gallery so we'll see if we have anything in the gallery once we're done with the game as well but we're going to special things so let's see if anything happens. I'd like to switch save files, but uh, if you... Oh no, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. That's why I'm laughing. During that ending cutscene, it did that glitch thing which I experienced a few times through this where it disconnected my Wii remote. I can't click anything. That's a little bit funny. I wonder if there's a way to reconnect it once this happens. Yeah, okay, yeah, that looks good. 
I didn't know there was a stall screen. This is new. Fuck is. What? That was not what I expected in. What? Eh. What just happened there? Because I want to look at a few things in here before I get going. Since I haven't looked at anything in here and I have all my stuff here. Uh, how much of the password do I have? I. Okay, I'm missing quite a bit of the cell phone password, unfortunately. I'll see what that unlocks later. I'm not going to be going for that immediately. I'm going to have all the movies unlocked in the game almost. I like how the cutscenes have a cutscene gallery. That's always a nice touch. Alright, our cell phone. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's our call log showing all the phone stuff we got. Apparently we got all but two call logs. We got every single recording and we got... we missed three messages. Alright, characters. Since I'm going to go through that set and I don't actually know what these character profiles look like. I'm just kind of looking at them at the moment. Uh, why do I not have access to these characters? Maybe I need to do something, with, maybe that has to do with a phone password. You can view Rin Kagura's 3D models, Shin, an elderly woman. Oh, she kind of moves. They're on like, they're literally on like a play testing field. That's almost a little bit creepy. They also have her, uh, character profile. You can do the same for Shin. <laughs> Fucking the pose they chose for him. Uh, there you go. I guess we also have his profile. There you go. Then we have Rin. Well, there you go, and then her profile, and yeah, that's a little bit odd. I guess ja Japanese games really love their 3D character viewers, don't they? Files, how many files did I get? I got, I've missed two, three, four, five, oh, I missed a lot, and then whatever the section of the game that was. Missed a few, but it is one it is in the blind playthrough. Of course I got all control notices, and what I was partially here for, there's two things I was here for. First one was this. D d oh, probably the gallery is unlocked by the password, right. Now what I actually wanted to do was, since we did all the red woman scenes, red woman scenes are these optional scenes that we were doing throughout the game, this lair is over here. Oh, that's what triggered it. 